Hey, Wrangler 4xE fans. I'm on the highway. I'm in a traffic jam. And no, I'm not looking at my phone, so I apologize if I don't frame this up well. I'm keeping my eyes on the traffic. I'm uh, using the adaptive cruise control right now. I'm in a you know traffic jam scenario. And it's a great time to talk about um, how the Wrangler 4xE always has electrical energy available for propulsion even after we reach the less than 1% state in there. One of the common, common, common questions about the Wrangler 4xE is it doesn't have, it, you know, how much power does it have after you run the battery down? And the thing is, you never really run the battery down. You, uh, you just reach that point where electric propulsion is no longer available and uh, the vehicle reserves a little bit of that bottom end of the battery for hybrid operation. And what you've been seeing as, um, as I'm getting behind vehicles that are slowed down and the vehicle slows down, you can see that the gas engine will shut off a per uh, periodically like it did just there, and I'm still rolling forward. You know, I mean, you see it's maintaining speed there, now it's going to slow down and the engine's still not running. That's because there is still charge in the battery even after you reach that less than one percent state less than one percent just means that you can't have any more electric propulsion it doesn't mean that you don't have full power availability in the uh in the hybrid system and so uh you know the you know people have this idea that the battery system isn't like integral into the system that it's just there for a little while and then it's gone but that would not be an efficient way to make a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle because then anytime you're driving around that you don't have, um, anytime you're driving around like when it falls into hybrid mode, uh, you would be hauling around the weight of all that battery and everything and not getting any benefit from it. And the nice thing, you know, like I'm going to, I've got a little bit of a downhill that we're going to hit here. During that time, this vehicle is going to recapture energy into the into the battery which is something that gas vehicles can't do is it will capture energy when and where it can you can see this thing's green you know, the arrows are pointing back and now it's going back as providing propulsion it's this constant give and take of energy that a traditional gas vehicle can't do but hybrid vehicles can take advantage of those times when it can grab energy back which you can't do that with a gas vehicle because you can't create gas in the tank, but you can create electrical energy, especially thanks to the two electric motor generators in the Wrangler 4xE and the Grand Cherokee 4xE. You have the one out on the front of the engine that's referred to as P1, and you have the one that's in the transmission referred to as P2. And uh, so I, I just wanted to share all that. I'm, I'm kind of rambling on here, but I'm trying to explain why the Wrangler 4xE always has full power. And um, I hope this answers some questions. I hope this makes sense. And uh, I just want to thank you for watching. Take care.